Hi guys! As you can probably work out, I'm going to review the Flamingo Buffet and before I do so, I'm going to show you the, one of the perks of eating at the Flamingo Buffet, the Buffet at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. And it is the ambience. It's really pretty, isn't it? This is one of the sections. You may not be as lucky and you may not be able to find or to be seated at a section that is as close as this to one of the one of the areas of the flamingo habitat but it depends on how busy they are today it's like the beginning of lunchtime and uh, they're not that busy but I have to tell you something as I'm approaching the various stations I have to tell you that I have been very disappointed <laughs> I start on the bat on a bat foot but uh, lately by the hours, the hours of these buffets. Especially because I'm, uh, I'm reviewing the buffets of, let's say, the Caesars Entertainment Group or whatever they're going to be called soon. Or they will be called. Because I, am, I purchased a 24-hour buffet pass. And usually what I do, I just visit as many as possible eat very little everywhere but try pretty much everything that I can and usually at the end of that I feel very sick <laughs> but I do it for you <laughs> um, and also it really is interesting and it's, it can also be fun if you do it with the right people or person it can actually be a, a buffet bonanza experience as I said you don't have to eat that much you just try little things and if there's something that you really like you have more of it now I'm gonna show you the station starting from the one and the beginning okay oh and, and here I'm going to show you the other area but it's nice isn't it I mean really very nice now what I was saying is that I came here and uh, well as you know Flamingo they have restricted opening hours and so does Rio that was the worst but I'm talking about that in detail on top-buffet.com which is where I write about hours and give you lots of tips and I keep update much more than through video obviously so this is brunch you know lunch and and breakfast put together so you got your bagel, your toast, help yourself to toast section. See? So you will find obviously breakfast offerings together mixed in, mixed with lunch offerings. How's my voice these days? I arrived yesterday and I have not recovered. I hadn't slept, then I ate too much. I had a terrible night because I ate too much and uh, and I'm not doing well. I wasn't. I had several months. I spent several months in Italy eating really well. Not just in Italy, actually. Italy, Portugal, Spain. Um, anyway, various parts of Europe eating very healthily. And I was preparing myself for this, but then I think I just got used to that. And it was hard, and it was hard to start over. Um, but I'm glad to be here. So anyway. So I don't know, it doesn't look as appetizing, but it is smoked salmon. It's reg, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't look as, it looks probably worse than it tastes. Let me put it this way. But it's here and you can mix it. You can use it uh, with your made to order omelets. If they are kind enough to include it, you just pick up whatever you want and then you show it to them and say, oh, can you add this as ingredient for the omelets? So that's something that I always do to, to Render my omelette a little bit more exotic, so to speak. Pork loin, yams, and green cabbage. Tortilla chips. Can I show you? Oh, no tortilla chips. You know, every time I want to show you what's inside pot, there's nothing there. But, you know, you get the gist. It's not tortilla chip. This is going to be... Um, a base for your uh, burrito style Mexican dishes. Pork adobo, chila chilaquiles. I may not pronounce it properly. As I said, I've been in Europe too long and I forgot the right pronunciations of these dishes. So a lot of Mexican style food. Now the thing about flamingo, 
is the, the buffet at Flamingo is that the food is pretty much average it's never been great it's never been bad either it's just what it is and if you stay Flamingo if you have a 24 hour buffet pass and you're in the vicinity you might as well eat here and actually we are about to go to Bacanao but because Bacanao day in day out just does not offer anything fresh salad wise I, I eat my salad here Can you believe it? but you see let's just talk about this you know, it's too much oil too much oil with this and, and the texture is a bit gluey mashed potatoes of course now I'm gonna show you this many of you have asked me to show it much 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 more detailed and to stay much longer on the rotisserie section beef turkey and glazed ham with some sausages about the Flamingo Buffet which is service. The service has always been very good. Um, here you can have, I'll show you what he's doing. And, and you can see what he's making whilst I'm talking. So the service has always been good. The atmosphere is quite relaxed generally speaking but you know I am here midweek and it's very different during the weekend and also very depending on what time of the year. This is a, a slow slow time of the year it's low season and i often choose low season because rooms are much more affordable and i stay here 20 days to a month so obviously i don't want to spend ten thousand dollars or more <laughs> okay but one thing about this uh, buffet as i said apart from the good service is that uh, you know nice people i'll show you the omelette section so that you can you can see what i was talking about these are the ingredients you see but you can add something you know if you find something nice enough to do it you can just add add you know, say oh just please include the smoked salmon or whatever and they'll do it for you and that's nice and then oh it's getting a bit busier but the salad section here yeah, i'll get there was actually very very good for this group and certainly better than what I'm gonna find at Bacchanal I already know that and many of you won't care but I know that some of you do because you gotta put something healthy in your brain in your brain yes and stomach now so as I was saying the food is pretty average if you come from generally speaking if you come from an area like uh, I'll show you the other section later because it's kind of busy right now. Like Europe, and I mean, you know, Southern Europe, they eat healthy, but generally speaking, but they don't have buffets. And if they did, it would be super expensive, though probably decent quality, but you don't get that. So for the price, you won't find anything anywhere else, really. So this is our Las Vegas uniqueness. Although there are some, I suppose, some buffets throughout the United States that are affordable and good but I think Las Vegas excels at this so when I offer a critique of a buffet like Flamingo saying that it's nothing special to it generally speaking I say so from a relative point of view talking about what else you can find in Las Vegas C certainly not in terms of um, in absolute terms because in absolute terms it is actually absolutely fine. Soup of the day. Let's see what it is. Am I gonna create damage here? Whilst I try to show you this. Looks like it's rice. It smells a bit uh, rice curry. It's a sort of rice curry type of soup. Which is a bit strange because I've never had rice curry, rice curry in a soup form before it smells really nice actually um so this is it you know i wanted to show you oh i'll show you immediately actually i'm going to the other side now forgive me if i shake a little bit now okay here i am so you got your cucumbers and salad toppings and uh, parmesan cheese shredded tomatoes spring greens spinach and romaine of course it's not organic okay so 
that's it. You're not going to find organic salad anywhere in any buffet, probably in the world. <laughs> Unless it's an organic buffet or specialty, you're not going to find it here. Okay, but this is artichokes, you know, and you know they're very good for your liver. So, and other parts of the digestive system. And so, eat them if you find them. Add them to your salad. They're really, really healthy. What I always do, and I am getting always more and more disappointed as to how few, the, the, the few number of buffets that actually still offers artichokes and other delicacies. There you go, your pasta salad, cold pasta, you know, I'm not really a fan of it. But then I'm going to the other side and show you the rest. Oatmeal, because it is brunch. Can you see it? Oatmeal. And then of course you got some fruit with um, what's in the middle. It's um, yogurt, but of course it's just all sugary yogurt. And then you've got cottage cheese and cream cheese. And unfortunately, you know, too much sugar for me. Watermelon and then you've got pineapple and other melons and then you've got your salsas salsa fresca guajillo salsa and then guacamole on the other side pico de gallo guacamole which was actually really good it was a little watery but they have so many ingredients in it that it was really tasteful very flavorful and olives over there which is nice and they pit it <laughs> okay um now see the berries the cream cheese and the cottage cheese and i'm going to show you this section here and then the other section at the end so you know it is fine it's fine there's nothing wrong with this buffet it's not going to be the memory of a lifetime but with a if you have a 24 hour buffet pass from this group it's worth, it's worth visiting for a couple of things, like for me it's the salad, for others it'll be something else. The pizzas are average, you know, I mean the Rio pizza was way better yesterday. Well, they don't have a wood fire oven to begin with. Deli meats, which I think is just turkey. Can you see it? Sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. And then again, cold pasta, which is that you should really, you should really not have the same dish presented in two different sections. Spring mix salad, pecans and blue cheese, which was very flavorful. And Caesar salads, they're both salad, they're both pre-tossed. And they're very well made for a buffet of this range. Price range. So, all in all, I was pleased, you know, there's a little bit for everybody. Oh, wow, no, 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 no. What have I done? Let me show you this section. Scrambled eggs, French toast, uh, French toast, you know, see for yourself. And uh, biscuits, it wasn't that special. Bacon, pork sausage, chicken, but they don't tell you how it's cooked. In some sort of salt sauce, kind of Hollandaise type sauce. And then here you've got more chicken with. Um, flavorful potatoes or gratin so to speak please go ahead cabbage rolls and then this little bit in the end korean pork thank you steamed rice broccolini and some more cooked vegetables and so now i'm going to show you the dessert section so you know nothing to shout about nothing that will give you the memory of a life and the, the, and the texture and the the flavors are pretty average, but with the exception, as I say, I mean, average but not bad, you know, so it's okay. It's been much worse this yesterday. It's, it's a little bit better, a little bit better than before and uh, better than the Paris buffet because although the Paris buffet looks fabulous, it was disappointing under all aspects. And I have a video on that just shot yesterday. I'm, right now I haven't posted it yet but by the time you watch this I probably will have and then I talk about it in detail on top .com. so this is the dessert section pretty much run of the mail it looks to me like everything was pre-bought and maybe just you know dressing it up a little bit this may actually have been made in the house though I don't think so but and then you have your uh, crepe section so you choose <laughs> 
you choose your ingredients and then you have them uh, wrapped around by the crepes. And they do that in various sections of the Caesars Entertainment Group resorts like Caesars Palace, Paris and so forth and here of course Flamingo and then also you have Harris and Planet Hollywood but I don't remember them having the crepe section. Now at Paris they also have the savory crepe but it really does depend on who's making them because a crepe can be great or can be just a waste of food and uh, at the Paris it was actually a waste of food which was a shame because when I was there previously I had somebody else make the crepes and uh, they were very well made so it also depends on the day now you've got your usual biscuits to put them in your trousers <laughs> you know people take them all uh, you're not supposed to take anything uh, to your room biscuits oh you can finally sugar free i have seen a decline in the sugar free offerings by some of the buffets that i have visited but not all and certainly it will not be the case from the very top buffets i think but real yesterday it didn't have anything or almost not enough to the um, compared to the amount of uh, desserts that they have dry everything you know various toppings that you may want to add to your ice cream and the ice cream is the same everywhere oh please go ahead and it's the same maker everywhere you may have some this is not gelato it's just north american type ice cream it's uh you, some really higher end buffets you will have uh, gelato or say european or mediterranean style ice cream which is lovely but usually that's what you find in the more affordable buffets now in terms of price and hours i invite you to check top-buffet.com top-buffet.com so all in all, I wasn't disappointed. I didn't. I did not have high expectations of this buffet, but um, you know, it, it offered me good, healthy options that I showed you. And now I'm ready to go to Bacchanal, where I will probably need a doctor afterwards. It's so heavy, Bacchanal. Let's see what it's going to be like this time. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave you with a beautiful view of this beautiful room. So you know, all in all, yes, come here especially one of your many options on a 24-hour buffet pass don't eat too much just eat whatever you fancy and always something healthy uh, and then go into the next buffet if you're on a buffet pass don't overeat it all at once otherwise you will not enjoy the others okay guys for details and hours and prices see you on top-buffet.com bye bye